it's Payan from Niche here. Hope you're well. I'm going to do a quick video on early repayment charges. Mortgage early repayment charges in regards to this point is so important now more than ever that people understand uh, not just what the interest rates are or what the monthly repayments are or what the associated lender fees are but also the exit fees. What happens if you want to get out of that mortgage for whatever reason whether you're selling a property or refinancing um, and uh, generally uh, these is always outlined in well it's always outlined in the uh, mortgage illustration uh, which you would have been provided by the lender or the mortgage broker and I'm going to look at some of these illustrations. Now the mortgage illustration outlines everything to do with that mortgage product uh, and the advice given. So it will outline who your mortgage broker is and the fees that they will receive, the fees that you will have to pay, all the information about the product, the fixed rate periods, the lending fees, any associated fees like survey fees. All of those things are important for you to understand. However, I'm going to concentrate on section eight of that illustration, which is early repayment charges. Right, so let's have a look at this. Let's look at a two-year deal. Again, we'll run quickly through to section eight, and you will see here there's a section called early repayment. Okay, now in this product, uh, in this uh, product, it's a two-year fix, so it will outline what the loan is, what is the early repayment charge. So it's two percent of the amount to be repaid, so of this amount until this period, and the charge is this. And then on the second year, obviously you've reduced your mortgage. Uh, on during that year it will drop down to one percent until this period and this is the fee now there is an additional fee of a they call it a redemption administration fee different lenders call it different things of 95 pounds and that's generally paid out and that's like an admin fee by the lender so at the bottom here it says look if you want to do, get out of this product the maximum you'd ever pay is six thousand pounds plus 95 pounds and there is a section here saying look you know you should really get in touch with your lender um, and make them aware and see uh, you know what uh, the early repayment charges are uh, up until what periods and when do they start there's two points around this majority of uh, residential mortgage products and some buy to let products have got a 10 percent overpayment facility now this doesn't affect this amount so up to 10 percent of the mortgage uh, now it could be the current mortgage balance it could be the initial mortgage balance that's why it's so important uh, you read this illustration but also you can contact the lender you can uh, overpay that without getting into this early repayment charge so some people for example i've done i've set up a direct debit up to 10 percent of my mortgage balance and that's reducing every month okay so you can pay up to 10 percent generally um, without incurring an early repayment charge it's always worth you discussing that with your mortgage broker or the lender to work out what the best strategy around this so you've got the 10 percent so in this case if the mortgage was three hundred thousand pounds ten percent of three hundred thousand pounds over and beyond your monthly repayment can be given before these early repayment charge figures are kicked in so that's really important let's have a look at another type of product let's look at a five-year fix for example again always in section eight now this is a little bit different if you look at this you will see look you got five years so you got five years of early repayment charges you got the mortgage balances there you got what the percentages are uh, you got the dates until they roll over to the next percentage and in monetary terms what that means to you this product this lender actually doesn't have any other admin fee or exit fees so it's fifteen thousand pounds flat but notice on this one is five four three two one now that's could change some lenders have got a five four three 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 for example some lenders have got a five percent throughout the year okay so it's so important you discuss this with your broker and you think about this yourself are you thinking there's going to be major changes? Are you going to have inheritance come to you? Are you going to sell a property? If you are, when do you think that's going to happen? If it's going to be in year three, it might be better to go for a two-year fix, for example, so you're free on the third year, or go for a tracker type of product and a tracker with no early repayment charges. If you want, you know, if you think you're setting stone and nothing's going to change, maybe a five-year fix, and maybe you could take a risk with a better product with a better rate, but maybe it's got a harsher early repayment uh, uh, strategy. Okay, let's look at one more product here, and that will be a tracker product. Now, this is so important, guys. Just because a product is a tracker, okay, now that could track the Bank of England base rate, for example, or we could track the lender standard variable rate 
or the lender's rate or some other type of tracker. Um, what's so important is not all trackers have got no early repayment charges, okay? Some tracker products still have early repayment charges. But in this product, let's have a look at section eight. It actually doesn't have any re early repayment charges. It still has, and in this case, they call it a final repayment charge of 80 pounds to get out of it, but there is no early repayment charge. So if you wanted to get out of it in year one, it's 80 pounds. If you wanted to get out of it in year 20, is 80 pounds so it's important you understand that let's look at one more and that's a another two-year fix but i just wanted to show you and again we go to section eight the different types of products so remember the first one that we looked at had a different uh, charge this one's got two and a half percent in year one and that's what it equates to and one and a half percent in year two and that's what it equates to. They do have an exit fee of 199, which is quite rich, I think. Um, so another question is, is obviously what happens if you um, if you want to sell up or you want to get out of it in year three, four, five, six, seven, if the mortgage is long term, but you don't have any early repayment charge after that. So you can essentially pay your 199 pounds off and get out of it. What I would say is always before your end of the term of your mortgage, um, you should really discuss that with your mortgage broker or the lender to find out what's suitable for you, whether it's best for you to maybe swap to a different product with the same lender or remortgage away, uh, because what you don't want to do is go on the lender's follow-on rate. So hopefully I found uh, you found this useful. Um, it is so important you take note of not just what your monthly costs are and the upfront fees, but also what's going to happen behind the scenes or later on down, down the road. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you on the next one. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.